Hi guys, welcome back. Today is the long-awaited Christmas Eve and Christmas Day vlog. I'm so excited about it. I've been doing this literally since 2014, so I am excited to be doing another one today. It is Christmas Eve. It is currently 9.30 in the morning. We've got some fun stuff planned today. Hope all of you guys are doing well. I know Christmas looks a lot different this year because of COVID, but I'm very, very grateful and blessed to be able to spend it with my family. I know not every situation is like that. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be having the big family dinner as we usually do. We're sad about that, but we're doing what's best and what's safest for the family. And today it's just gonna be the four of us, my mom, dad, me, and my brother, just going to enjoy some nice family time on this Christmas. And I've been getting tons of comments, people excited for this year's vlog. So I'm very grateful that you guys watch every year and are so supportive, it really means a lot. Also, as you see, I'm wearing my classic Home Alone sweatshirt that I wear every year. I always wear it on Christmas Eve. It's just a tradition at this point. So, I also want to recommend this devotional for you guys. I started it this year and it's an advent devotional so every day in december leading up to christmas you read a short devotional and it has scripture in it and it just really helps you understand the true meaning of christmas and what advent is so i'm gonna have this link down below you guys should definitely check it out for next christmas so let's go downstairs see what's going on again this is our tradition every christmas eve we eat some of this holiday kringle from trader joe's the almond one it is so good if you guys saw my last video we rushed to get this at the store before it was sold out because it's a very popular item also look what i just found this is a christmas album i made as a gift for my parents in 2012 this picture I want to say hello. Hello everyone, Merry Christmas. I got my Christmas colors. Very festive, I like it. Oh boy, how did that just happen? What'd you do? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I just, I literally was looking yeah, at what? it one second ago and then it just did this. I'm trying to make rolls. Look at this lovely what? setup. Kringles, oh. some fruit, the family all sitting to dine. Ew. <laughs> Ew. 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 These plates are so cute. <laughs> this is looking a bit better than last year's, Fia. Last year mine fell apart in the oven. It was like a ball. <laughs> it wasn't even cooking. <laughs> gifts for my family. I've been using Procreate on my iPad and I made little prints for them. So I am working on sending these in to Walgreens and then picking them up today because it is Christmas Eve and I'm giving it to them tomorrow hopefully. I had to order picture frames for it and they haven't come in yet. They're supposed to be delivered by 9 p.m. tonight so if they get here by then we'll be fine. I'm now headed to Walgreens to pick up the photo prints that I need for my family's gifts. It's just same day pickup. Very convenient. Maybe I should have done this earlier than Christmas Eve, but as we all know, I am a procrastinator. It's been pretty cold here, but all of a sudden today it's warmer and I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like Christmas needs to be colder, but it's fine. It's still a little bit chilly. We're supposed to leave for church in 15 minutes. Time to get ready. Um, I don't think so. Also, ignore the messiness. I don't even have an explanation for it. I'm just gonna be honest. This top is so cute, but it just does not go with the pants. This is the same dilemma as last year. Maybe I should think about planning my outfits ahead of time. I think I'm just gonna end up wearing literally the exact same thing that I wore last year. Guys, are we taking a picture or what? Yeah, we're waiting for you. And me. Yes. Sam's on the other end since he's top. Since who's the camera? Oh, I thought you were setting one up. I'm attempting to make my aunt gaze 
famous dinner rolls. It's my first time trying this recipe. It's a disaster. It's actually your great grandmother. Give it a chance first. Oh, wait, it's my great grandmother's recipe, but my aunt Gay gave it to me. The recipe doesn't have exact measurements because it's just like add in enough flour until it's like the consistency of cake batter. Let it rise till it's doubled. So I don't know how long any of this will be. I might add too much flour, not add enough. We'll see, but I have to get started because it has to have time to rise and bake and all of that. So wish me luck. I don't know how this is gonna go. So far it's been a mess. I've had two spills already, yeah. When I was dissolving the yeast, I just spilled that on the counter, so. Okay, would be a shame. Great start. I had a cooking show when I was 12 before this channel, fun fact, and only three or four videos were posted. Hi, and welcome to Chiquita's Kitchen. Today I'll be teaching you how to make coconut macaroons. Make sure your pan is properly greased. That looks terrible. No, it isn't. We're currently wrapping gifts for our family that shipped in from our other family in Arkansas. Also, I'm really bad at gift wrapping. I never properly learned the right way to do it. So whenever I do, it looks really bad and like a first grader did it. So my goal is to learn how to do it the right way. Okay, I actually did nice on that side though. Ooh, that looks better. A little bit better. Get that out. Smell it. it. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. What? Isn't that nasty? Yes. Two moon from Sam. <laughs> Look what my parents got for Christmas from my grandparents in Arkansas. Really? The air fryer. I'm gonna have to make it rotten. It's gonna have to like, yeah, it's gonna be really rotten. Look at this fabulous wrapping job. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put together the gifts for my family that I picked up earlier. The frames came in in time, thankfully. I ordered these little Polaroid frames. How cute are those? I don't have actual Polaroid pictures for these, but I'll show you guys the pictures that I made. So for my mom, dad, and brother, I made a little graphic with different Bible verses that I feel like would specifically resonate with them. It's my dad's, this is my mom's, and then this is my brother's. So I'm very excited to give these to them. You know what time it is. Time to open the last advent. My dearest Sam and Sophia, now that you are older, 16 and 20, the magic of Christmas you may have felt when you were younger may not be as prominent, but the true spirit of Christmas remains strong no matter how, what age you are. The joy of family together is giving warmth, gratitude, peace, and most of all, the birth of Jesus. Mm -hmm. All that is done for us. We're making the best of it, and my heart is full of love, joy, and appreciation to be with you and dad. And my love. Wait, I'm gonna cry. I'm so much to be thankful for. Merry Christmas, mom and dad. Wait. Oh. That's so sweet. I'm gonna cry. Thanks, mom. Sam and I are making a run to Harris Teeter to grab a few things for our dinner tonight that my mom needs us to get, and he's driving. <laughs> Ew, this is terrible. Let's check on my roll dough. I think it's starting to double in size more, but these will not be ready until Christmas day, so tomorrow. Didn't realize it took a full day to make these, so that's why we got some different rolls at the store. These are so good. They're the next best thing to homemade rolls. I'm gonna start working on our gingerbread souffle. It's our dessert for tonight, and we had it back when I was in middle school. We haven't made it since. This is what we're working on right now. Souffle time. Also, do the next step for these homemade rolls. I have to add more flour and some baking soda, I think, and salt until it feels like biscuit dough. And then I refrigerate it overnight. It's a whole baking session over here. The souffle mixture is cooling for a little. I'm really hoping all this stuff turns out. Fingers crossed. Christmas. 
our love Christmas and I like your church. Oh Alright, I was just sent on a mission. Wait, D. Anyway, I was just sent on a mission. I have to go find Bun. Where is she? Let's get some YouTuber lighting. How do you turn this on? Hi, Bun. I don't know if you guys knew, but Bun is sick. She, um, she's got a tumor. This is probably her last Christmas, but we love her. We finna miss her. Right, Bun? Right, Bun? Hey. Right, Bun? Meow? Hey. Right. Right, Bun? Rumbon. Rumbon. <laughs> oh. What do you think you're doing? Did I ask you to come up here? No, I didn't. I think it'd be so cool if we could like go back in time and like, let's, oh, let's look at 2002. Right, right. Do you guys remember when I got this for Fia last year? From the, um, the Dollar Tree extravaganza. Should we do that again next year? No, right? no. Never, never. Never again. again? No. Fia, why we got the same side profiles? Boom, boom. Bye, bye. Oh my gosh, she's the best cat in the whole world. Sam, explain what we're doing this year since we can't go to Opie and Grandma Carol's house like we normally do with the whole family. We're making our own dinner. Yeah, so we're having a nice fancy dinner here. My mom's been cooking, I cooked a little bit, and we're just gonna have a family feast together. And tomorrow for Christmas day, we're gonna go to Opie's house and have a nice socially distanced outdoor gathering with the whole family. Chill. Ew, they're actually like nasty. Also, you're Nate, you're Nate, Pace. Look at the socks. <laughs> the old owner. Take the those. Owner. I know. This is Bernays sauce. Well, we have, it's gonna go yeah. on go ahead. our London broil. The packet, mm -hmm. it's not homemade, but no, this okay. is very good. It's Canor's Bernays sauce. And I don't know, mm. honestly, what goes in it, but it's delicious. I think, I think so. <laughs> you're yelling on the phone, honey. <laughs> well, it's my dad. My mom just got off the phone with Opie, and apparently they're having the best Christmas Eve right now. They're having a very nice Christmas. They miss us, but the two of them have had a great Christmas Eve. Mm. Oh. Come here. You're filming me. I'm shy now. Pretend like I'm not here. Go. Candles gleaming inside. Job. All right, we've got some roasted vegetables here, our beef tenderloin, some of the rolls that I did not make. Those will be coming tomorrow, hopefully. And then, what is this, the scalped potatoes? Scalped potatoes with parm Yummy. We're in for a treat. I hope. What a lovely table. Mom, where's the reload? Next year. Potatoes. Help me there, Sophia. Thank you. <laughs> Trying my gingerbread souffle. When I took it out of the oven, it was up to here and it looked really pretty, but then it quickly just kind of disappeared and now Not it doesn't yet. look Wait the prettiest. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Is it good or is it not? It's good. Nice, rich, buttery. <laughs> Stop. Can you get that out of my face? Get the camera out of my face. All right guys, I'm gonna go to bed now. It has been a wonderful day. We just watched Christmas Vacation. My dad and I especially always crack up at that movie. I don't know what it is, it's just very funny to us. I was struggling to stay awake that whole movie. I am super tired. So, I'm gonna go to bed now. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning and Merry Christmas. It's about 9 a.m. right now. I think my brother and I are about to go downstairs and we're gonna give our gifts to each other. Let's read our devotional. Grace, the dominant note of Christmas. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. 
and the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh, John 651. Let's go downstairs and give these gifts to the family. Looking for the pickle that Sam and I hid. Yes, sir. He found it. Right here, the pick. All right, that means you get to open the first gift. It's me. You knew it would make me cry. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Stop! Is it Pusheen? <laughs> it's one! It's a little oh Pusheen ornament. <laughs> Got some new slippers here. Super cozy. Is that a flannel? Ooh. Yeah. I got a flanny. Oh, oh, oh it looks great! Oh, oh, oh look at the sleeves. It has a thumb thing. Wait, this is actually new. From Sam? Fia. Oh, can I get her at? Nice suit. That looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> An Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I wrapped it twice. Are you and it is. Is this a blanket? It's a hoodie blanket. Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm putting it on. Is it come? Yes. Stand up. Yes. Yeah. See? yeah. Oh. Family tradition. Uh, probably 1972. Getting a box of cherries ever since. Three layers. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love it. This is nice. Thanks, baby. You You're say? welcome. Look at this Christmas mess. Yeah. yeah what in the world? Now we're about to make our big Christmas breakfast, making some souffle ricotta pancakes. Look how much my roll dough doubled overnight. Here we are, Opie and Grandma Carol's house, all bundled up because it's very chilly outside. We're just gonna hang out with the fam and be safe with COVID, so. Oh no. Uncle Miko has the Santa slippers that I gave him oh, a few years ago. <laughs> they're looking in top shape. They look warm. But I found out last night the soles are not waterproof. <laughs> 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 Chewy. He's so ugly. Um. <laughs> he's so ugly, he's cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I hate to open it, Sam. You did a good job. Oh, that's okay. I hate to open it. <laughs> oh, it's not tear it open. Oh, it's just oh, tear it. <laughs> Grandma Carol, help him out. <laughs> hey, oh, slippers? Yes, must be pair of slippers. How did you know, Oops? How did you know, Oops? They're slippers. It's a modern slippers. Uh, can you open this for me? My fingernails are too Grandma Carol, you always say some wise words in every video. Do you have any wise words for us today? Oh, let's see, what would I, I would say this too will pass. This too shall pass. Next year, you and I will set the table. Very special. If we're here, if we're not here. Then we'll make it even more special. Yeah. Meaning if we're not physically here, we physically may be. In a different, in a different, a different location. Yes. Christmas video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun filming it and I had such a great Christmas with my family. Very grateful for them. I know I've said that probably a million times in this video, but it's true. 
My heart goes out to everyone who is struggling over Christmas for whatever reason it may be. I wanted to acknowledge that I am thinking about those who weren't able to be with their families and loved ones this year. Hope you guys are all doing well right now during these times. 2021 is coming very soon. I have lots of exciting videos coming. If you're not already, please be sure to subscribe down below to stick around and follow along with what I post in the new year. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram because I post over there all the time and it's just a fun place to be. So anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the new year. Bye!